Now, these were the people of the province who came up out of the captivity of those exiles whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried captive to Babylonia. They returned to Jerusalem and Judah, each to his own town. They came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Sarah, Reilaiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpar, Bigvi, Rehum, and Baana. The number of the men of Israel, the sons of Porosh, 2,172, the sons of Shephathia, 372, the sons of Eras, 775, the sons of Palam Moab, namely the sons of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812, the sons of Elam, 1,254, the sons of Zatu, 945, the sons of Zachai, 760, the sons of Bani, 642, the sons of Babai, 623, the sons of Asgad, 1,222, the sons of Adonakam, 666, the sons of Bigvi, 2,056, the sons of Adin, 454, the sons of Atter, namely of Hezekiah, 98, the sons of Bezai, 323, the sons of Joah, 112, the sons of Hashan, 223, the sons of Gibar, 95, the sons of Bethlehem, 123, the sons of Netophah, 56, the sons of Anathoth, 128, the sons of Asmaveth, 42, the sons of Kiriath Arim, Shepherah, and Beerath, 743. The sons of Ramah and Geba, 621. The sons of Michmas, 122. The sons of Bethel and Ai, 223. The sons of Nebo, 52. The sons of Magbish, 156. The sons of the other Elam, 1,254. The sons of Harim, 320. The sons of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 725. The sons of Jericho, 345. The sons of Sena, 3,630. The priests, the sons of Judea, the house of Jeshua, 973. The sons of Emmer, 1,052. The sons of Pasher, 1,247. The sons of Harim, 1,017. The Levites, the sons of Jeshua and Cadmiel, the sons of Hodavai, 74. The singers, the sons of Asaph, 1,128. The sons of gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Atter, the sons of Talmon, the sons of Akub, the sons of Hatita, and the sons of Sholbai, in all, 139. The temple servants, the sons of Ziha, the sons of Hashupa, the sons of Tebaoth, the sons of Keras, the sons of Seir, the sons of Padon, the sons of Lebanon, the sons of Hagabah, the sons of Akub, the sons of Hagab, the sons of Shamlai, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Gehar, the sons of Riah, the sons of Rezin, the sons of Nechnoda, the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uzza, the sons of Pasea, the sons of Besai, the sons of Asna, the sons of Munem, the sons of Nephesim, the sons of Bachbuk, the sons of Hakupa, the sons of Parhar, the sons of Bezlua, the sons of Mahida, the sons of Horash, the sons of Barkas, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tema, the sons of Neziah, and the sons of Hatipa. The sons of Solomon's servants, the sons of Sotai, the sons of Hasuaphrath, the sons of Peruda, the sons of Jaala, the sons of Darkon, the sons of Gidel, the sons of Shephatia, the sons of Hatil, the sons of Pachareth Hazabim, and the sons of Ami. All the temple servants and the sons of Solomon's servants were three hundred ninety two. The following were the servant were those who came up from Tel Melah, Tel Harsha, 
Cherub, Adan, and Immer, though they could not prove their father's houses or their descent, whether they belonged to Israel. The sons of Deliah, the sons of Tobiah, and the sons of Nakoda, 652. Also the sons of the priests, the son of Habiah, the sons of Hakaz, and the sons of Barzillaiah, who had taken a wife from the daughters of Barzillaiah and the, Gil the Gileadite, and was called by their name. These sought their registration among those enrolled in the genealogies, but were not found there, and so they were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. The governor told them that they were not to partake of the most holy food until there should be a priest to consult. Yohim and Th Thamim. The whole assembly together was 42,360. Besides the male and female servants, of whom there were 7,337, and they had 200 male and female singers. Their horses were 736, and their mules 245. Their camels were 435, and their donkeys were 6,720. Some of the heads of families, when they came to the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem, made free will offerings for the house of God to erect on it on its site. According to their ability, they gave to the treasury of the work 61,000 derricks of gold, 5,000 mimas of silver, and 100 priests' garments. Now the priests, the Levites, some of the people, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants lived in their towns, and the rest of Israel lived in their towns.